let's talk about some different ways of creating freeze frames. Now, the first method I want to show you is when we want to turn an entire clip in the timeline into a freeze frame. I'm going to play over this first stack, and then we'll talk about what we want to happen. Okay, so basically, I just want uh, these three pieces of video to be still images. So all I need to do is find the moment that I want to freeze and then freeze it. So I can just scrub through until I find the piece of video I want to freeze. How about that? And then I can select my clip and then right click and then choose frame hold options. So I'm going to hold on uh, my playhead location and I'll say OK. And now you can see that I have a still. OK, we can do the same thing for the clip on V2, but I actually want to assign some keyboard shortcuts because it's faster. So I'm going to come up to Premiere Pro Keyboard Shortcuts. Uh, this is in the Edit menu on a PC. And then down here, I'm just going to type in Frame Hold. And Frame Hold Options currently does not have a shortcut. Well, Freeze Frame and Frame Hold uh, start with F. So let's map some keyboard shortcuts on F. I'm going to click on F, and you can see that Option F is available. So I'm just going to type in here Option F. And so that'll be my keyboard shortcut for Frame Hold Options. And while I'm in there, I'm also going to add keyboard shortcuts for add frame hold and insert frame hold segment because we're going to talk about those next. OK, so we've got another one at option command F. So we'll just type in option command F for add frame hold. And then for insert frame hold segment, let's put it on option shift F. So I'm going to type in option shift F. And now we've assigned keyboard shortcuts for those three. So I'll say OK. And then on my second one here, I'll use my Option F command, but let's find the piece of video that we want to freeze. OK, how about there? And I'm just going to select it and then press Option F. All right, and I could change it to Playhead Location, but in this case, Source Time Code at this exact frame will be OK. So I'll say OK there. And then we'll go ahead and freeze this moment on B3, Option F, and OK. All right, and I'll play over it again. OK, so I'm going to come to this stack, and I want to talk about another method of creating freeze frames. And that is moving from moving video to a freeze frame. So I want to do the same exact thing, but I want to start with moving video. And then when I get to the point where another piece of video joins, I'm going to cut to a freeze frame. So let's shift drag to snap to this edit point. And then at this point, I'm going to add frame hold. If I right click and choose add frame hold here, you can see that it adds an edit and then moves to a freeze frame. OK, so I'll do that two more times. Shift drag. And then the keyboard shortcut we mapped was Option Command F, add frame hold. And same thing here, Option Command F. And we've got our moving video into freeze frames. All right, and then finally, our last example is basically showing the bread making process. And then I have uh, several titles that describe what's happening at any given point. And what I want to do is freeze the video underneath the title. So I'll just play over this first one and you'll get the idea. So right under the title here, I want to freeze the video. And so we only want to affect the video on V1, uh, not the music or the titles. So I'm going to lock those. And then I'm going to shift drag to snap to my title. And then at this point, I'm just going to select it. And then I can right click and choose insert frame hold segment. And here is the frame hold segment that it inserted. It's a little bit long. We want it to be the exact length of the title, but we can trim that back. So I can uh, switch to my ripple tool B and then trim that back. Or if I have my selection tool V, remember the temporary way for you to very quickly access your ripple tool is to simply command click or control click on a PC on your edit point, And then you temporarily get your ripple tool and you can ripple it back. All right, so this is what I'm after. We'll do the same thing here. I'll shift drag. And then the keyboard shortcut we used for this one was option shift F. All right, and here's our frame hold segment. I'm just going to command click, drag it back. And then on down the line. 
Option Shift F, and so on and so forth. Okay? One thing I want to mention about working with freeze frames in this way, if you ever want to change a freeze frame back to video, you just go back to your frame hold options. So I would just select this clip and then open up frame hold options, option F, and then you would just uncheck hold on and say, okay, and notice I have my moving video back. But I'll undo that. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how to export a still frame from your project. So all you do is you put your playhead on a frame in your sequence or in the source monitor. In this case, I just have a clip with a marker by it, and this is the frame that I want to export. And then you come to Export Frame or Shift E, and then here you name it, and then you can choose your image format, choose your path or where you want it to go, so you can browse and open up a, a browser here. And you can also import it back into the project if you'd like to edit with it. So I'll say OK. And you can see that here is the still that got brought back into the project. And then if I go to my desktop, here is the still that got exported. So I can use that for promotional purposes or to make a thumbnail or whatever I like. All right. So adding freeze frames is pretty easy in Premiere Pro. Whether you want to freeze a clip, add a freeze frame at the end of a clip, insert a freeze frame inside of a clip, or even export a still.